On the 27th of April 2021, Ofcom released the final results of the 700MHz and 3.6 to 3.8GHz spectrum auction, which I will go through in today's video as something of a follow-up to the mid-negotiation video I put out previously. So 700 megahertz paired, EE02 and 3 each got 10 megahertz paired in this auction process with the spectrum in ascending order going 02, 3 and then EE. The 700 megahertz supplementary downlink only went to EE and therefore looks like this. Then the 3.6 to 3.8 gigahertz is where things get quite interesting. The spectrum in ascending order for this auction goes EE, Vodafone and then O2 which is all well and good but then if you overlay it onto the existing N78 spectrum it all looks incredibly unpalatable with all the operators having very discontinuous chunks of spectrum spread across the band. Now Vodafone and O2 agree a spectrum trader during the course of the auction and negotiation wherein O2's old or like first 5G auction block will become Vodafone's and then Vodafone will give up their new block so that O2 can have it. So then O2 gets an 80 MHz contiguous block at the very top and Vodafone gets 90 MHz split across two blocks with a 40 MHz gap in the middle which is one of three's spectrum blocks. Now even this is, is really not ideal because a lot of O2's radio portfolio for 5G does not support frequencies at the top of the band which is where their 80 MHz contiguous lamp will be and it's not just O2 who will run into some new N78 spectrum related radio capability changes. Needless to say I expect there will be a lot more spectrum trading to come in this band in order to enable optimal usage of it for customers going forward. In slightly happier news 700 megahertz EE launched their 700 megahertz 5G in a place called Redditch within two minutes of getting the license. This is based on posts from BT Chief Architect Neil McRae who posted that they got the license at 7.14 and had the service going at 7.16. The Redditch service is running on Nokia and was NR only at the time that one of the telecom spotters was able to visit it achieving throughput around about 80 megabits per second on the NR bearer. However given the high prevalence of 700 megahertz capable equipment across EE, O2 and 3's networks, I expect we'll be seeing much more deployment of this band to come. Thanks for watching the video, sorry it's been very short, just I'm very very busy with job related work at the moment, um, but I thought it was wise to get something out there, given that I'd made a video about the happenings in, in the auction um, a short while ago. I of course will try and get videos out as, as and when things change and we get more information and I hope to see you then.